Hi guys and welcome to a competitive commander gameplay video containing two matches. Today I'm piloting my Frasius Vile Smasher Odd Nauseum Valakut deck that wins the game by resolving an Odd Nauseum and drawing pretty much the entire deck that contains a lot of lands, then putting some fast mana into play, mana bond, follow up with discarding my entire hand and put all lands into play in a huge pile of mountains and valid triggers to kill all of my opponents. But I'm not the only Frasius Vile Smasher player with us, we also have Tangelo playing his Polydemon deck. It's a polymorph deck that finds Rasakef, the only creature inside his deck. And with Frasius draw out his entire deck, play all creature cards cost final devastation x equals infinite, giving all creatures haste, and plus x plus x infinite, attack and win. But also with us we have MTG Galaxy, another EDH content creator. If you haven't checked him out, you should take a look. It's a very small channel, but it's a lot of quality inside his videos. But now, let game one begin. Then I'll draw for turn. Play Polluted Delta, Mana Crypt, Fetch, Blue Greenland, and Sack. Lots of spell for Blue, and cast Tresios. I'm going to pass. Draw. I'm gonna go with the Cephalid Coliseum, casting Soul Ring. Tapping Soul Ring for an Arcane Signet, cast a Chromox, imprinting Noxious Revival. And then I'm gonna tap two and cast Thrasios. Passing the turn. Not the best, uh, but I'll go Bayou in the Land Wilds. Go for it. Draw a card. Let's play a Bayou, Exploration. I wanna use my second land drop and play a Verdant Catacombs. I'm gonna crack this for a green and a blue, casting a Elves of Deep Shadow, passing the turn. And tap, rough turn. I'll play land for turn, with the foothills. One blue, playing runs. Seems good. I'll activate chat, scry bottom, reveal Savannah into play tapped. Fetch, green, red, cast spill ring. Then I will pass. Untap, drop. Activate Thrasios. Scrying one, I'll square that to bottom. Revealing the top. It's an underworld breach. Ooh, that seems kind of scary. I don't have much to put much in my graveyard right now, but yeah, that's pretty good, I hear. Passing the turn. Draw, forest, elvish mystic, and sylvan library. Go for it. Draw a card for the turn, play cinder glade, land drop, then play dwarven mine, land drop these two, and cast the demonic tutor. Uh, pass. I also pass. Go for it. Find a card and uh, pass the turn. Rough turn, activate chassis. Reveal Windfall to my hand. Activate Chasios. Top reveal. Uh, Emil the Blessed. Ah, okay. Ooh, yeah. okay. <laughs> With training ground, seems pretty good. I'll cast uh, Gamble. I'm I'm guessing this could be Dockside? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Ki kinda bad. Is this this much bad? One, two, three, five cards in hand. This is one. So here comes. Hit, Hit Dockside or Emil one time. Windfall. Oh. Ah. Sorry, guys. I tried. I'd be the best to roll a good die. I'll play Land for turn, Gaia's, Gaia's Cradle. Uh, pass. We have survived. I'll draw. I'll play Tropical Island. This feels kind of bad, but I'll try to find an answer here. I'm going to tap six, taking one damage from Cephalid Coliseum. Cards in hand, everybody? Yeah, one. Four. Three. Okay, I'm going to draw four cards off of Recurring Insight. One, two, three, four. That's five. There we go. Four. All right, passing the turn. And I'll, 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 I'll draw an extra card here. I'll take four. Play Windswell Teeth. Crack it. I'll shock a stomping ground for Priest of Titania. One for Sylvan Safekeeper. Pass turn. Draw a card for the turn. Uh, ah, yeah. honestly, I think so I'm all, I'm all in here, and this is might be the best chance I have. You're all kind of tapped out, so I'm gonna cast Odd Nauseum. I'll activate Trapsius in response. With um, reveal Misty Rainforest into play tapped. Uh, I don't like that I have to use this. It kind of makes me not have interaction for play M, but I have a force of will. No! Pitching reality shit. I'm gonna win turn three here, Tangelo. Odnos is uh, countered, and I'm gonna play an Ursa's Bubble. Yeah, pass the turn. Uh, end of turn. I'm gonna nature's claim the training grounds. Ooh. Then I'll move to my turn. Go for turn. Play lamp for turn. Verdant catacombs. Do you like to fetch Mr. Rainforest and hold priority and fetch Verdant catacombs? Good time for even mind sensor. You're the only one running white though. This would actually <laughs> have done the job box well in response to why both of us on the stack. I'll shock in breathing pool. Uh, activate chassis. Scry bottom. 
Reveal Mox Diamond. Uh, dark side? No response. No response. Uh, no response either. Four treasures. Cast, I mean, yeah, if no further response, so I can use Goddess Cradle Tap for four and activate and have infinite mana. GG. Play every dork I have cast finale for infinite. GG's. Nice. Here comes a fun fact about this game. I was actually thinking originally passing turn and casting Ad Nauseum in response to Playm trying to win, finding Pact of Negation and Slaughter Pact being capable of interacting with Playm and preventing him from winning the game. However, if I would have done this, Tangelo with his recurring insight in Rebound would have targeted me and then he would have drawn his entire deck and won the game and I didn't want that to happen. And everyone was tapped out so I was gambling, I didn't think Tangelo actually had anything, so I went for it. And because I went for it, Tangelo had a force of will that was used and then Playem could win. Alright, game two. Come on Valakut, you can do it! I think this background picture is perfect, considering I'm playing a Valakut land deck. Rough turn. Play Scalding Tarn, fetch, uh, lose one life, find blue, green land, cast land where elves. Pass. Draw a card for the turn. Uh, shock into play a stomping ground, cast wild growth, pass. Draw for turn. Forest, cast carpet of flowers. Get a second main, get a green off of your tropical island plan, and Utopia Sprawl in this forest, naming Black. Go ahead. I'm gonna shock in a Steam Vents for a Mystic Muramora. Um, with that, I'm back in the turn. Drop turn. Uh, Iron Mesa fetch. Uh, look at the door. And cast Windfall. You can draw fish if you wish to. I will opt not to draw with my fish. So we all draw five, I think. Sea of Clouds, uh, Red Elemental Blast. Uh, Lotus Petal, Piffy Needle, Dwarven Mind, Snow Covered Mountain, yeah. Snow Covered Mountain. Uh, Bayou, Polluted Delta, Blood Stained Fire, Veil of Summer, Abrupt Decay. Got a Swamp, Cyclonic Rift, Force of Negation, Power Blast, and Delay. I'll pass after that. Draw a card. Arid Misa. Let's crack the Arid Misa. Cost Thrasius. I'm going to find red and blue Volcanic Island and pass the turn. Draw uh, Exotic Orchard. Yeah, uh, with my two red, I'll cast Dockside. I'll pass on the Dockside cast. As will I. Yep, ETB trigger on the stack. I will uh, sack pedal for blue, cast Mystical Tutor. You can draw fish. Uh, no response on Mystical Tutor. Uh, Eldritch Evolution on top. Crack my two treasures and tap three and cast Corvold. Enters, select Dockside, draw a card, put a counter on him. Uh, pass turn. Upkeep, pay for fish, draw. I'm going to play Verdant Catacombs. Passing the turn. Of turn. Tracios. Passios. Tracios, Passios. <laughs> uh, untap. I want to put a Bloodstained Mire into play and pass the turn. Tracios, Passios. Draw. Two green off carpet. Cast a Ramanap Excavator. Play Bloodstained Mire out of my graveyard. Tap two green and a black for a squandered resources. And I pass priority on squandered resources. Uh, pass priority too. Pass. If we're good with that, I'll hit the combat. I'll hit Mons. It's gonna be six. Pass turn. I'm gonna crack the Verdant Cat of Combs finding aid. No, I find a Ketria Triumph. On tap, I'm gonna let the fish die and I'll draw. Um, I'm gonna shock in a Blood Crypt, casting Oko. Crack Blood in my trigger. Shock a Stomping Ground and try to Pyro Blast the Oko. Pass. You know, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice this for a. Oh uh, no! Mons, don't do it. For a bad land. That's a Sorry, Tangelo. No can do. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, that, get, that gets countered. I'll pass the turn. Okay, draw for turn. Play Gaia's Cradle. Uh, transmute my blue mixture. I'm gonna find the dark side and pass. Yeah, in pass. your end step then I'm gonna yeah. activate uh, Frasius. Look at the top one, put it on the bottom. Reveal a mountain. Mountain to play tap. Draw a card. Let's shock him to play a Blood Crypt. Guys, you are semi untapped out, so we're gonna try our best. I'm gonna cast Ad Nauseum. Oh no. The thing is, I'm actually down at, uh, a, at a risky life total where it could fizzle. And I haven't drawn out that many high CMC cards, so I'm not sure I'm gonna win from this. It depends. I yeah, I, I, I pass. I'll pass. Two. Okay, how many two CMC spells have I killed, drawn out? So I still have Biomancer's Familiar in the deck, so I have to stop, actually. 
Okay, that was a little bit sad, but I think I have it anyway. Did you get any free counter spells? Yeah, I have a Pact of Negation in my hand. Let's begin with casting Mox Amber. Uh, Crow Mox. Let's exile Death Right Shaman. Let's cast Exploration. We need to cast this one, and I need to have one more mana. I'm gonna play Second Land Drop Bayou, and then I'm gonna cast uh, Demonic Tutor. Sure. And now I wanna cast Mana Bond. What does that do? So uh, during my discard phase, you may choose to put all land cards from your hand into play. If I do, I discard the rest. When you pass priority in your second main phase, Force of Vigor, Exhaling, Vexing, Sure Sure, Targeting, Mana Bond, yeah, I think Exploration. All right, uh, I'm <laughs> going to uh, cast Pact of Negation on that. Reflecting SWAT. Oh no, why did I... F oh, I misplayed. Pact, target the SWAT. Yep. Okay, it goes to my graveyard. Uh, I'm going to pass my turn, and uh, I'm not going to discard anything because I, I'm expecting that you're going to kill me, uh, Galaxy, so go for it. Well, save the mana from graveyard. Elvish missed it. I'll hit Mons for seven. I'm really dead. Second Elvish missed it. Crack blocks the end of my equivalent trigger. I'm going to shock and a block it. I'm going to cast Consult. I pass priority on Consultation. I'm going to name Food Chain. So now I just have to hope to exile Squee. Food chain. We live to die another day. I think we'll run it out. Yeah, I feel like it's safer on the battlefield than in my hand. Pass turn. Drop the restore. I'm gonna put target land card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. I'm gonna put Blood Samire under my control and I'm gonna I'm gonna crack it. It's just gonna be a taiga. Oath of Druids. All right, and with that, I will pass the turn. And tap your turn, uh, Dockside. Yeah, you got the ETB trigger. Three treasures and cast uh, Eldritch Evolution, sucking Oh, Oh, I'll just do this in response. I'll sack this to spawn of resources, getting a red draw of Corvold. I'll find Emil the Blessed. Use my Gaius Cradle to blink. Have infinite mana. There is no further response and do the same as last game. GG. Play of the game. So we're gonna try our best. I'm gonna cast Odd Nauseum. Oh no. Uh, I don't like that I have to use this. It kind of makes me not have interaction for play M, but I have a Force of Will. So I'm gonna cast Odd Nauseum. Force of Vigor, Exhaling, Vexing, Sure Sure, Targeting, Mana Bond. Reflecting Swat. This might sound strange, but sometimes it is better to try to combo off second, because the first one trying to go for it has to go through most of the table's interaction. Now this was two games of five we played during a Twitch TV live stream. And if you like this video and you're a patron of mine, on my patron page, I've uploaded a third game. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.